Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Uh, today I finally got my hands on the D&D character sheets for 5th edition. Um, I've been trying to get a copy of this for uh, almost two weeks now. The, basically the, comics, the comic game store that's only a short walk from where I live uh, was hoping to get them for the hobby shop uh, pre-release date because usually you know local game stores tend to get them about a week in advance. Uh, unfortunately, they never arrived, and when the release day came and went, uh, their distributor still hadn't uh, sent them. And finally, you know, they they still at the at the time of this recording, they still haven't received the sheets. Uh, so it's been a week and a half um, since the actual official release date, and I just didn't want to wait any longer. So I have a set still ordered. I plan on buying the second copy anyway, just to keep sealed. Uh, for my own uh, collection. I'm not probably going to use these to write on either, but I still like to have a sealed one to go with uh, a sealed starter set that I have. So, I had to basically hop on the bus, uh, go to the other side of the city that uh, where I live, and the store that I went to had one copy left. They had two when I called, and they only had one when I got there. So I'm glad that I had called to get one set aside when I did. I did end up paying a little bit more than I would have liked, unfortunately. Uh, the price tag here was $14.99. I think the normal retail uh, is supposed to be $13.50 if I recall, but I don't know if they actually have a Canadian price on there at this point because I just can't actually see uh, past the sticker and I didn't want to tear the sticker off because I was going to tear the cellophane. So, with all that out of the way, let's have a look at the D&D character sheets for 5th edition. So, we'll just have a start a look at the uh, the packaging here, and I have to say I really love the uh, the dragon. I, th I think that looks so cool for the uh, the ampersand, the end symbol. Uh, not quite sure what's with the rope or the flowers, but it is still really cool artwork, so I am you know really like that. Now, on the back, it says, uh, let the game begin. And I don't know how well this is going to turn up, so let's just see if I can avoid the glare here. Uh, so it says, inside the, whoop, inside the pockets of this lavishly illustrated protective folder, you'll find a full set of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons character sheets for use in any D&D campaign. Each sheet provides plenty of room to keep track of everything that makes your character unique. So it says it includes, and we'll just lower this down a bit here, all right, it includes an introductory uh, character sheet uh, designed specifically for new players, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Uh, three additional styles of double-sided character sheets, giving experienced players options based on their individual play uh, preference. And spell sheets for keeping track of your magical repertoire in games. And then down here it just says, uh, every character sheet and spell sheet is easy to photocopy, so you'll ha always have a fresh sheet on hand when you need one. So, uh, what's absent from this is actually telling you how many copies of the sheets that you get. And I'm really trying to fight that glare, I apologize. So, that was one of the questions that I kind of had from the beginning, is if, is it going to be a bunch of sheets to actually use, or is it going to be a few different styles of sheets uh, that are designed to be photocopied? Um, the fact that it mentions photocopying right on the, uh, the, the little blurb on the back makes me feel like that's probably going to be the case. But let's open it up and have a look inside. So I haven't actually haven't actually seen any uh, openings. I haven't seen anything about it. Uh, I always try to avoid stuff like that uh, for products I plan on doing my own reviews for. Uh, so just give me a second here. Yeah, I don't. I I, I kind of like to go into things with my own opinions only and not uh, be influenced by others. Uh, I probably think I might go a little bit into more detail about that uh, maybe in a uh, another video because I've had people ask me uh, the process that I use for reviews so I guess we can consider that sort of a uh, spoiler <laughs> uh, but let's have a look here so cellophane is off and we're gonna oh okay so this is just a uh, that's just a covering I actually thought that was part of the uh, the folder, so okay. So you get to see a little bit more of the artwork here. Uh, so as you can see, you can actually see like the skulls. Uh, it looks really cool. I think I mean I'm not really into that sort of thing myself, but this would make a really awesome tattoo, I would say. And uh, if I were to ever get a tattoo, um, this might be the way that I kind of go. Like I love the ant symbol, uh, the skulls, everything just looks really cool. It looks like a uh, a tattoo. 
Uh, the thing that's a little bit disappointing is there's nothing inside of here. Uh, the only reason I say that is the uh, the DM screen that came had a uh, had a thing actually on the inside. It was a uh, poster of Acerac, and it was promoting uh, the D and D Adventures League. So that would have been kind of cool uh, to have this turn into a poster that you could have put up on your on your wall. But um, you know, there you go. So now let's open up the uh, let's see if the back of the okay, and the back just has the uh, the dragon, the Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's really cool. Feels nice. Um, so here we go. Okay. Um, so let's just start. Uh, you actually get it looks like quite a few different sheets. So it's not it's not just a couple. It looks like it looks like there's actually a few different uh, few different types here and. And again, you know, so you actually get uh, quite a few, quite a few things in here. Uh, let's just have a look at the. Okay, so uh, what's interesting about this that I can already kind of see is we got some of the different styles of sheets. So this one here is uh, double-sided, and it looks pretty much like the normal character sheet, except uh, this column is just completely uh, open. So it doesn't actually have any of the other uh, information, and the back looks kind of standard as well for what you're kind of used to. So that's kind of interesting because if you compare it to this one, which looks like the standard character sheet, uh, you can see that it has like the personality traits, ideals, bonds, and flaws on there, and then a shorter section. So it gives you a little bit more room on this one. Uh, so if you want to just um, you know have your own sort of notes in there, that's perfectly fine. Uh, still has like the backstory. The backs of the sheets look exactly the same. So uh, let's just have a look and see if we can find a few other ones here. All right. Oh, okay. And we have another style right here. Uh, so I actually, I think I actually kind of like this one. Um, so it's got the skills with the ability scores. That was something that I really liked about the D&D Essentials 4th Edition sheets, that they had the, uh, the skills and everything else along with the ability score. So I actually really like this one. You got your you know, proficiency, inspiration. Uh, everything over here all looks the same, but this is definitely different. So you got your strength score, modifier, uh, saving throws. So it gives you saving throws and the skills. So it's got all the different skills uh, for each of the ability scores, which is really cool. I actually really like that, uh, like that design. And the back. So the back looks like it's the same on pretty much all of the uh, the character sheets. But I I like this one. So if I were to make photocopies of a sheet, I think this would be the one because it's so much easier to kind of follow with uh, with what you get there. So that is pretty sweet. And I think that's it for the style, so just a second here. And then we just have our spell sheets. And these look the, basically the same as the ones that you can get uh, online. <clears throat> the ones that come with the, uh, the basic rules. And there's one, two, uh, three. So there's only four of those sheets. <clears throat> so you may want to be careful if you plan on using these uh, to actually write on. <clears throat> then uh, just keep in mind that you only have a few of those uh, of those care of those spell sheets. Let's just see if we have any on the other side of the stack here. Uh, like I said, I think these are all. I think these are all. Oh, oh no! Wait, uh, we've got another one here actually. So, okay. <clears throat> so there's actually yeah, there are a few different styles, which is really cool. So this one has a great big section here uh, for. Your uh, your ability scores, which is great. Um, this I I like this one too. I, this must be the one that's aimed at beginners, I would say, because everything's kind of bigger and easier to see. Uh, so you got your armor class, initiative, speed, passive perception, uh, your hit points, all that, and then you have your saving throws. Uh, next, to the saving throws are the skills, and what's kind of interesting about this is it only gives you a certain number of skills to put in there. And I think the reason behind that is, you know, most characters d don't have a ton of trained skills or, or proficient skills. <clears throat> so everything else 
uh, kind of goes into uh, would go into uh, just the regular ability scores. Uh, what I do think is missing is the spot for your proficiency bonus. So let me just see what's on the other side of that sheet. No, that is just a blank sheet. <clears throat> So it's interesting that it is missing your proficiency bonus. So I kind of liked that until I saw that, and I'm just scanning over everything again. Uh, I just don't, I don't see it. So they they forgot to put in your proficiency bonus. Uh, I mean, they got your passive perception. Um, you know your <coughs> your death saving throws, your hit dice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> But it's missing, it's missing the proficiency bonus. Uh, it's also missing a spot for uh, things like inspiration. So, like I said, this is a beginner sheet, um, but it's missing some kind of important things. You know, I like that it breaks down like your race, class, background. Um, you know, this is still kind of normal. That's still kind of normal. Uh, I do like the things you should do and things you shouldn't do. If you can kind of jot down some notes for yourself. But that is kind of a big omission that I think they should have uh, maybe looked at a little bit more closely. Uh, even if it was something that was like up here, <clears throat> you know, like even if you get rid of faction and have proficiency bonus. So the fact that that's missing is kind of weird. And uh, again, forgive me if I'm just missing it. I'm trying to look at everything here. Uh, so that's a bit of a disappointment, actually. I think that sheet, it, it is cool looking. I, I like a lot of the stuff that's on there. I just don't like what's missing. So you'd have to probably write it down here, uh, just somewhere, so that you know what, what it is. Uh, but it's definitely something that probably should have had a, uh, a place for it. And it looks like they gave you quite a few of those sheets, too. Because if you look, there's just one, two, uh, three, four, six, seven. Looks like there's eight of these. So eight sheets without uh, the, the information there that could be useful. Again, there's a lot of great stuff on here. Uh, so that's basically it for the sheets themselves. So let's try not to have this too. I like to keep everything as organized as possible. So uh, we've seen the, uh, the different styles. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I think overall... Uh, overall, my favorite is probably, oops, overall my favorite is probably this one here. I, I just really like this, I, I really like this sheet, I like that everything's kind of laid out there. You got proficiency, inspiration, uh, so yeah, just this section alone makes this sheet pretty awesome for me. I think that's a really great way to kind of streamline it. Uh, <clears throat> it gives you, you know, a, a few more extra spaces for things. Uh, that I like so you got like equipment uh, and character notes, which was kind of missing from the other other sheets and uh, Yeah, so that's it for the uh, the sheets themselves So we'll just uh, put this Back in here like I said I try to keep it as close to the original as possible and I think what I probably end up doing is uh, scanning the, uh, the one that I really like, and uh, continue to use that. So, But the other thing that I think is really cool is uh, if you look here on the flaps of the, uh, the folder itself, it gives you some information. And some cool stuff for, uh, I mean, I'll get to this side here, but it's, you know, actions in combat, which is really cool. Actually, I really like that. Uh, so you got your attack, cast a spell, dash, dis disengage, dodge. It gives you all these things, the help option. Uh, search magic using magic item use an object use a special ability. So that's actually really cool uh, I think this is something that would be very helpful for players Especially ones that are newer or not quite as familiar with the round structure uh, for fifth edition as they were in the past So that is awesome. I really like that and uh, just down here And I'll just try to see how well I can get in on this uh, So here are a few examples of the sorts of things you can do in tandem with your movement and action. So this is actually really helpful as well. Uh, you know, draw or sheath a sword, open or close a door, uh, withdraw a potion from your backpack, uh, pick up a dropped ax, uh, take a bobble from a table. So it just gives all these different things that you can do um, as like along with a regular movement and a normal action. So that's actually really super useful. I like that, I like that a lot. And then, uh, we just have here uh, things you can do on your turn. 
So you can uh, move up your speed, take one action, communicate with speech, gestures, or both. Uh, interact with one object or feature of the environment as you move or take an action. To interact with a second object, take the use an object action. And uh, down here, again, one of the things I think is really cool is it just gives you some information. If you want to use this as a folder to take with you when you're playing D&D Adventures League, so you got your player name, uh, a character name, uh, so that might end up changing, but you also have a spot for your DCI number, which is used for part of uh, Wizards of the Coast organized play stuff. So that is, uh, that's basically what's, what's on there. So the designs of the sheets are interesting, except for that one that um, has some good stuff going for it. Uh, and would be great for some you know, starting players, but I kind of think that they dropped the ball a bit with uh, not having the proficiency bonus. The other sheet that has the skills and saving throws and all that to bundle in with the ability, uh, that one's probably my favorite. And again, I love what they have here uh, for the uh, the information just on the flaps. So instead of just having artwork, they actually have some really great information uh, that I think, you know, some <clears throat> stuff that can come up sometimes is questions. Um, and the fact that they have some of these things answered here is just really great. <clears throat> it's almost the kind of idea of like a player's screen almost kind of thing. So that is really cool. Uh, I really like that. And again, you know, the artwork is really great. I just don't want to fold those sheets over. So yeah, the artwork again is really great, and I still think that that would make an awesome uh, D&D inspired tattoo. Uh, so that's really great. Um, I like this product. Now the price is a bit of a sticking point as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, if you live in the U.S., it's not that bad. Um, you're looking at uh, $10 U.S. Is there a Canadian price? Yeah, there is a Canadian price there. So $13.50 Canadian. So I ended up paying a little bit more than uh, what the uh, suggested price was. But you know what, that's okay because at least I finally, you know, finally have the item. So I've been trying to get this for a while now, um, you know, waiting patiently for a couple of weeks, um, you know, repeatedly checking at the store. And, you know, it's not their fault. It's not the store's fault at all. But, um, you know, I, I wanted to get this. So uh, 13 50 is not bad. Uh, the folder itself is uh, fantastic, so I'm glad that that's the way that it is. It does come with more sheets than I was expecting, which is also great. And uh, yeah, so I think this is a really cool product. If you're looking for, um, you know, if you're looking for some character sheets, then, you know, this is definitely a great way to go. Uh, if you don't mind, um, you know, using the ones that are in there to actually write on, then that's also great. I'm not really keen on that, so I'll probably save these and just uh, make photocopies. Uh, but that's fine. Like I said, this is actually you know a pretty decent product. Um, you know, the 9.95 US is is totally fine. Paying you know 15 dollars Canadian like I did is a little bit steep, uh, but I'm still just happy to have this finally in my collection. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps uh, you understand kind of what's in there, and uh, you know helps inform your decision as to whether or not you want to pick these up. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.